artist for a couple of years now uh, and today I'm going to show some slides with a little bit of my work and also talk about this topic which is something that I like very much and that's ink. Uh, here are some of my works or my illustrations. Uh, as an illustrator you can work with many different materials in many different ways but I think ink is the best, it's my favorite. Uh, and I almost draw everything by hand uh, with the ink pencils and uh, the only thing I do digitally is to like remove stains or coffee <laughs> 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 and also the coloring part I do digitally but I think ink is still the backbone of my illustration uh, I use this rapidograph pens uh, which you refill with the real ink uh, and I only used three of them, and these ones that I've been using now, I have been out for like two or three years, so they last very long, just if, if you take care of them. Uh, it actually was a friend of mine who had been studying technical drawing in LA that showed me this pens, and it was uh, first when I met this pens that I started to really like to illustrate. Uh, unfortunately, you can't buy them here in Sweden, so you have to like ship them home from the States every second year. Uh, and most of the people that try them tends to really hate them, because when the ink is dries out, the pen will be unsaleable. But as long as you take care of them and like use them frequently and clean them, they're lovely. <laughs> And the best thing with ink, I think, is that it always has the same blackness. And when you use like regular black pens, they turns to get a little grayer, and the tip of the pen gets a little changes the lines thickness. With the, this kind of pens, the lines always has the same thickness. Yeah. And I thought I could show you some of my latest work that I've been doing this last couple of months. It's a coloring book for adults uh, and that went to print this Wednesday actually, so I'm very nervous and it's going to be out in store hopefully in the end of April. And I'm going to show you some slides of it. Uh, it's based on a home and everything that you have in a home. So here you have uh, some leaves from the garden and some sewing things from the living room. And here we have some clothes for the uh, wardrobe in the bedroom and some shoes from the entrance. Yeah. And that was it for me. I have some things that you can look on over there. Some uh, calendars and some postcards that you're free to take one or two if you like. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Robert Wagner and uh, I am an illustrator. Um, I do work as a graphic designer as well and occasionally I work as a musician, but my main profession is being an illustrator. Um, I also work uh, traditionally and by that I mean I stay out of the computer very much. Uh, and like Tuva, I also use rapid graph pens, but I use a different brand that you can find in Sweden. <laughs> and uh, but as she said, they're they're hard to maintain. But when you get the feel for them, it's the best pen that I've ever used. You can I work with very 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 heavy details. You can change, um, and these pens make it able for me to to do these fine details. Um, and I recently 
discuss most of the time when I do stuff, I do uh, everything outside of the computer, uh, probably 85% of it. But recently I started working more in the computer when it comes to logos um, because I found out that vector graphics are really good for logos. Um, I've known that, but I tried to deny it for very long. Uh, but even though I do that in the computer, I still do most of the work outside of the computer. So the logo over there is a working sketch, and I probably worked like 80% on that, and the 20% is done in the computer. Um, and looking at ink, uh, I think that if you would wake up tomorrow and all the ink in the world would be gone, uh, I don't think that we're, we, don't, we have to be afraid of that happening, but if it would happen, it would be no problem because I think if you're good at what you do, uh, you will eventually become good in a computer if you're good outside of the computer. So in that sense, it doesn't matter if ink runs out, uh, but in another sense, I think ink is very important because it creates a more diverse uh, way of working um, in our creative community. So, and I'm all for diversity. Um, I brought some pictures from people that are not using ink to just to prove the way uh, I'm talking about uh, doing detailed stuff in, in a computer. This is a guy called Ken Taylor. He does a lot of, everything is done in Illustrator. This is vector graphics, all of it. Uh, the next one is DKNG Studios, and this is also, everything is detailed, and it's all digital. Uh, and the last one is a girl called Jessica Siemens, and she's kind of a hybrid. Uh, she does some work in the computer and some work outside of the computer. Um, so yeah, that's, that's mainly it. I think that's all for me. Okay, I'll just spill it. Hey, <laughs> um, I'm Carolina. Um, I'm an illustrator too, and I work with graphic designs as well, and artists, and I DJ, although the last thing doesn't really have to do with ink. Um, and just like these two, I'm very um, fond of pencils and, and markers. I use different sort of ink, though. Um, yeah, that one's got like three sort of uh, different inks. It's acrylics and spray paint and Posca markers, which is sort of an acrylic um, marker <laughs> or paint. Um, but inside, yeah, and oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's good. These are these are my illustrations, and um, I work the same way. I, I'm mostly analog. Um, I'm not that big. I'm not that big of a fan with computers. Um, I tell myself I don't know how how to work them out, but sometimes I, I surprise myself. So I actually know what I'm doing um, in those programs. But um, so th these are all pencils and markers and watercolors. I think I use spray paint actually on some of them, like real spray cans on paper. I, I, I use really cheap paper because, um, I don't know, I just, I just like the way it gets kind of, I like the contrast. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you have, <laughs> sorry, I'm not a morning person. Um, this is a commissioned wall I did at um, a office space here in Malma. It was pretty cool. They, 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 um, it's this, they got a store called Cool Stuff down by the station, uh, and that's their head office. And they wanted space, Planet of the Apes, and, ver and robots. That's the theme they wanted, so. <laughs> they like, go nuts with that. There's a monkey, there's an ape. Uh, but the, these are also like really, really cheap markers, some of them. I did a commission, an another wall at a different um, office space, and I only used really cheap markers you can get for six kono, and I didn't even get 10 of them. At the end of the, when I was finished with the wall, I think it was like, yes, a little bigger than this red part here. They asked me like, do you, um, 
to, to, to bring the receipt. <laughs> and they kind of started laughing because it was only, yeah, six times, six, 36. I'm not a math person either. Um, I, I like mixing different sort of inks because it's different textures, it's different, like I said, I like the contrast. I like to mix around a lot. Um, yeah. Um, hi. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 ha I was thinking of some, I'm sorry, I'm such a lousy talker right now. We should do questions and answers now. Thank <laughs> you.